There's no question, Brett, that we could have done a better job in communicating what it does. We address disinformation that presents a security threat to the homeland. Our work does not infringe on free speech. Okay, so does not infringe on civil rights, civil liberties. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas attempting to defend the Biden administration's new disinformation board. But critics are calling it a crackdown on free speech and say the woman in charge peddled disinformation herself. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee joins us now. Governor, good morning to you. So uh, Alejandro Mayorkas is saying this disinformation board is not going to target Americans. I guess the question is, do you believe him? Uh, gee, in a word, no. I mean, this is like asking, do dogs have fleas? This is the nuttiest thing I think I've ever heard. I, I, I'm just stunned. I thought it was satire. I honestly did. And when that uh, video rolled out of the uh, young lady who's supposed to be the disinformation czar, and she's going to really monitor all of this, and that honestly looked like something that somebody put together to make fun of someone. And she was deadly serious about uh, her attitudes regarding free speech. This is stunning. But l l beyond the comedy of it, we need to step back and ask ourselves, is this a function of the government? You know, I've read the Constitution several times. I don't recall a doggone thing in the Constitution about that one of government's responsibility is to monitor uh, the conversations, uh, the writings of Americans, and decide which ones should not be allowed in the yeah. public square. Yeah. This is insane. You know, Governor, uh, moving on, a new poll finds Americans trust Republicans more than Democrats to handle crime, the economy, and inflation. I think that's kind of self-explanatory um, <laughs> and why they may do that. It's not, oh, will Republicans take the House? It's will they take the Senate and how big will they take the House? What do you, you think is going to happen in the midterms? And, and then the other big question, Joey, is will they do something with it? This is the, the, uh, the dog chasing the car. Once it catches the car, the question is, now what does he do? So I think Republicans are going to win both the House and the Senate, but they better have an agenda. They better show up yeah. uh, with a, an agenda to get something done for America. But it's no surprise that people trust Republicans because they've seen what Democrats have done to them in a year and a half. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Another uh, number on this from this ABC News Washington Post poll, 68 percent of people disapprove of Biden's handling of inflation. Another self-explanatory one there when you think of everything going up, In the words up, of Trevor up. Noah, everything's up. Yep. <laughs> All right. Mike Huckabee, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Carly. All right. You're very welcome.